The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has endorsed updated COVID shots for everyone aged six months and older. The vaccines from Moderna, Pfizer, and its partner BioNTech will be available by the end of the week. The U.S. has seen a surge in COVID hospitalizations this summer as new variants emerge, with hundreds of people still dying each week. The new shot will be available at pharmacies and some doctor's offices and will be mostly free through private insurance, Medicare, or Medicaid. For more now, let's bring in the director of the CDC, Mandy Cohen. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Great to be with you. Late today, you officially signed off on these booster shots. The shots come as we're, of course, seeing an uptick in COVID cases. How soon will the new shot be available? Well, today, the CDC recommended that everyone should get an updated COVID vaccine. And within the next number of days, you're going to see those start to show up in doctor's offices and pharmacies around the country. Fewer than half of adults older than 65 and just one in five Americans got the booster shot last fall. Many Americans view COVID as a mild threat now. Are you concerned that very few people will opt for the boosters this fall? Well, we'd all wish for COVID to be in the rear view mirror, but unfortunately it's still here. And what we know is that our immunity decreases over time. So even if you've had COVID before or been vaccinated, that immunity and that protection does decrease over time. Plus what we're seeing is that this virus, the COVID virus continues to change. That's why today the CDC is recommending an updated COVID vaccine for everyone over the age of six months. Again, it's to protect you from the serious consequences that this this virus still can have it, many Americans as you know have ditched their masks as we head into the fall and winter do you see a world where people should mask up again in crowded spaces and inside well, as we get to the fall and winter, we're going to have not just COVID circulating, but remember, flu is out there, RSV that impacts our, our young kids is out there, and other viruses. So we want to use all the tools we possibly can to protect ourselves. Vaccine is a great tool, and going into the fall and winter, we have vaccines against all three of those major viruses. So right now, ahead of fall and winter is a great time for you to get not just your COVID vaccine, but your flu shot, and if you're an older adult, to get an RSV vaccine. Um, but we have to use other tools, right? So if you do get sick, make sure you're getting tested because getting tested allows you to then get treatment and treatment make sure that you won't get very sick, end up in the hospital. So we need to use all the tools we possibly can to protect ourselves as we get into the fall and winter. Uh, you've just started this job beyond COVID and what we've already discussed with regard to the flu and RSV. Uh, what are your biggest health priorities at the CDC? Well, as you mentioned, you know, first and foremost, we're focused on these respiratory viruses. It's unfortunately the thing that is going to take a number of lives in the coming months, but we have the tools to protect ourselves. So focusing on protecting ourselves from COVID, flu, and RSV is certainly first priority, but many other health threats that are out there, and the CDC is designed to be that um, asset for this country to detect and respond to threats. So other threats like um, declining in our mental health or the opioid crisis that we're seeing, or we're seeing, unfortunately, more suicides. So that is certainly something that we are focused on at the CDC as well, making sure we can bring data and evidence and best practices to support folks, not just with respiratory illnesses, but maybe their mental health um, and addiction as well. And before we let you go, do want to ask for those who are concerned about the safety, the medical issues potentially down the road that they say they are concerned about with regard to getting these COVID shots, what's your response to those who are still skeptical and doubting? Well, I want folks to know that these vaccines have been studied, frankly, more than any vaccine in history. We've given over 600 million doses of the COVID vaccine. So it's been studied in terms of its safety extensively. Um, so I wouldn't recommend anything I wouldn't recommend for my own family. I'm not just the head of the CDC. I'm, I'm a mom. I'm a wife. I'm a daughter. So you're going to see my 9 and 11-year-old daughters get vaccinated um, with COVID and flu uh, this fall, my husband, my parents. So we're hoping that everyone will protect themselves when we get into the fall and winter, get their updated COVID shot as well as a flu shot. CDC Director Mandy Cohen, we really appreciate your time tonight. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.